Hi, it's Charlie Seymour Jr. And this is Dr. Mark Costner. And we just had a terrific interview with Ken Betterton. This guy's a former Marine. He's a Utah State trooper. He was. He was a commander there. That's right. And he takes all that great experience and brings it into his internationally recognized motivational speaking career, leadership training career, executive coach, all of these things. He's just a terrific guy. So listen to this short question and answer. We've got some more information for you at Join the end. Join us at the end. Yeah, we'll be right back. Well, Ken, I'm here with Ken Betterton. And every time I have told this story, because I love this story, the story gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So he may have to rein me in on this. But I understand that you rescued the 2002 Olympics in Salt Lake City. Tell me what really happened. Get my story I, I got it. I got sorry. it. I don't have this right. <laughs> There's people out there that know me. I can't. I, you know, embellishment's okay, but that's like embellishment on that steroids. That word is. That's not I, what he we, was doing. But we, we, I say we, the Utah Department of Public Safety was the host agency for the 2002 Winter Olympics. And my Nothing bigger on the earth at that point than I, the Olympics, right? Well, especially five months after 9-11. Ooh. Yeah, 9-11 happened on 9-11 right. and right. February of... I'd forgotten year. about that. Yeah, so there was a, a lot of tension, yep. a lot of nerves, a lot of preparation. Yep. We had a lot of good support from, from all law enforcement involved. Um, troopers came from all over the nation to support us on us. Secret Service is involved. ATF was involved. Yep. But my, my specific role was, my role was to control the airspace over the venues. Okay. And the only thing that was allowed in that airspace was sports broadcasting helicopters. Okay, so, so NBC who had the Olympics were allowed to have their helicopters up there. Oh, and international sports oh, that's broadcasting, right, the international ones too. ESPN. And, oh, right. Okay. Yeah, there wasn't. A, so okay. anyhow, it's uh, the the helicopters. I I had to design a program where I knew the helicopter, the helicopter number, the pilot, the pilot's name, the cameraman, the cameraman's wow. affiliation, obviously with the helicopter. Yep. And then before that helicopter left the ground, there was an armed. Utah trooper inside the cockpit. Wait a minute. Every time they're going up there with a, a cameraman, there's a trooper in there? You got to remember. You got to remember this is. Did you know that? This is 150 days after 9 11. And, yeah. and you know, was it really necessary at the time? We thought it was. We didn't. We had no. Well, clue. And, you, and because you want to make sure who's flying that helicopter and who's really in it, and you're checking all these. So you were doing. You love spreadsheets. So you were doing spreadsheets. Is that why you were doing it? <laughs> I, I am not analytical and I'm not accurate and no, I'm not he does organized. No, not like them. No, I, I, I like to be spontaneous and deal with people. But, but you did all this, right? I had to get totally out of character. It was like going to the all night dentist. But I did it, and I put it together, and we were successful in that area. You know, but once again, lots of support and a lot of help to make well, it. Well, okay, so he didn't single-handedly. But, you know, the thing that I take away from that at this point is all the great memories that I had coming out of those Olympics, having watched them on television, without incident. Yeah. So whatever you did, you must have done it well. It's once again. It's not me. It's it's a it's a team of law enforcement from th throughout the nation that, that did that. I had a little tiny role over here in the corner, but yeah, you know, we we were very proud of how the Olympics went, and yeah. people were able to enjoy the athletes and enjoy the events, and and uh, you know, the the pulse on the nation was high at that yeah. time. Thanks for doing all that. No, thank you. Yeah, yeah. my pleasure. So. I can't believe that there are 29 questions and answers we have from Ken Betterton. We spent a ton of time with Kenny after an event that he did. It was terrific. We cover so many different topics. 29 questions and answers. You can have them all. We're going to give all of those to you. All you need to do is click that link below. That's right. KenBettertonSpeaker.com. KenBettertonSpeaker.com. Come on over right now. They're free. They're just all available. You're going to find a ton of great stuff. You're going to learn a lot about Ken. You're going to learn a lot about those motivational things that are needed by all these different organizations. Organizations. Right. So click that link, come on over, you're going to get all 29 when you do. KenBettertonSpeaker.com. Get all this good information.